How does this sound? A life of less stress and more time, peace, and energy. Greater freedom, joy, and health. Deeper presence and stronger connections. That's what author Brooke McGallery is claiming that we can achieve by living a value-centered life. And in her book, Slow Simple Living, for a frantic world, she shares tips on how to do this. This way of living is about bringing what is most important to you into the forefront of your life. In this series, I will be breaking this book down into practical steps and also showing you how you can use your planner to put these steps into action. How do you start? Well, according to the book, in order to change, you need to know what you stand for. You need to know your why. Knowing your why helps you to determine your actions wisely, knowing which ones deserve your time and attention and which ones do not. And then that way you can stay on course if things don't go as planned. We are living lives where we aren't just responding to our external circumstances. We have a compass that is guiding us. On a sheet of paper, she recommends brain dumping your answers to the following five questions. What is important to me? What do I want to leave behind? What don't I want to leave behind? What do I want people to say about me? And this is in terms of like what you want to be remembered for. What regrets do I want to avoid? And then I'm also giving you a free printable that kind of acts as a worksheet to add to your planner with the following questions. Which of the following values are the most important to me? And you circle your top 10. What activities bring me the most fulfillment? What experiences or teachings from my past have shaped my values and beliefs? How do I want to make a difference in the lives of others, whether that be your community, your family, or the world. What beliefs, causes, or issues am I most passionate about and how do they align with my values? And she mentions that you may want to condense your answers so that you can really clarify what your values are and it also helps you to describe what a life well lived actually looks like for you. Keep in mind that this isn't set in stone. You can change it in the future if you want. This is just acting as our starting point. So just add this page in your planner and we will refer back to it later on in the future action steps. Here is an example from the book that she wrote about herself, about what she wants her children to say about her life. Quick to laugh, creative, compassionate, with a wicked sense of humor. Mom was never without a new plan or adventure on the horizon. Was spontaneous, loyal, introspective, and believed wholeheartedly that we all have a responsibility to leave the world a better place than we found it. video in this series we will be starting a decluttering challenge which I'm really excited about so I hope that you will join me and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!